As first pay homage to the lineage gurus, homage to the venerable Mang Liao Ming, homage to Master Sakya Zheng Kong, homage to His Holiness the Sixteenth Kamapa, and homage to Master Dupton Tarji. Homage to the three jewels of the altar. Homage to the main deity of Homa today. Golden Mother of the Primordial Jade Pond. Sumo, Tanchen Katsu, Tupten City, Tupten Kama. All Dharma masters, Dharma lecturers, Dharma teachers, Dharma instructors, Dharma tutors, temple and center directors, and all disciples present here and over the internet. Good afternoon, everyone. How do you do? I still, I still, Shalane, Ola Miko, Ola Miko, Take it on Now I would like to announce from next Sunday, June 30th at 3 p.m. We will perform Guru Gule Buddha Mother Homa via offering ceremony. Our magnetizing deity is Guru Gule Buddha Mother and Raga Raja Aizen Myo Aizen in Japanese Aizen Aizen Myo This deity, Guru Gule, the love and magnetizing deity, by practicing her dharma and gain spiritual union, then you will have this many fans in the future. That's the benefits of the magnetizing deity, that your fame is uh, all over the world and you would be able to attract uh, the mass. At least you have five million fans. Uh, let me first share a joke. In the future, you don't have to uh, give me something so heavy. I can't, I can't even lift it. It was uh, carried by two people. So how can I carry it on my own? How many kilo? of gold, is it? Three kilos. It was made of three kilograms of gold. How can it be so heavy? It has to be carried by two people. Oh, and also the wood frames. 
In the future, forgive. It should be something small. Just something small is good enough. It's just a small, tiny thing. So even 20 carats is not that heavy. That's a joke, okay? Today, I would like to thank you all. Such a grand celebration. It's very rare in our Trubuda school. However, don't think that the celebration that we see with our eyes is only this, but there is also celebration in the heavens. And Golden Mother has come. And surrounding her, it's incredible. Golden Mother, including her attendants, Dong Shuang Cheng, Xi Hui Chong. And twenty major attendants, and including her offsprings or children, her daughters, like Hua Lin, Yao Ji, Yi Hu, Mei Lan. And her three thousand attendants. And in the Oregon Pure Land, there are also the one hundred thousand Dakinis. And the goddesses from the Snowy Mountain. And six longevity goddesses, a twelve auspicious goddesses, three devis, and also Durga, Kali, Uma. And the goddess of the Ganges River, Saraswati. The goddess of wonderful sound, and also, according to what I saw, the five color goddesses, goddesses in white robe, in red robe, in yellow robe, in blue robe, in green robe. The five colors goddesses, Machiklabdron, also Guru Gule Buddha Mother, and also Vajrayogini and Dolce Pamo. And Guru Padmasambhava's five Buddha mothers and other Buddha mothers all came. Guru Padmasambhavas, Ishichoka, Mandarawa, Sakya Dewi, Kalasiti, and Tashi Chitun. The five great Buddha mothers and many more Buddha mothers all came. And we have several 
the cast and the king is here present with us and they can see not only the Dakinis can see the Dakas also can see the Dakas at the mill so the heavenly celebration is in their eyes so let's not uh, mention the Dakinis because they usually but among us here is there any Dakka here any Dakas among us here right now or outside if you hear this come right away and speak for us and I believe Nianhua Xiaoguang from California can see if he's here please come forward and how come it's still a woman and the seven brothers under the body tree if you see anything please come forward quickly quickly wherever you sit right now Give, give him a microphone. Happy birthday, Grandmaster. May Grandmaster and Sumo uh, always healthy. No need to be so uh, ritualistic. Uh, just speak. <laughs> can, you, can you please ask the question again? I'm nervous. I've forgotten. What have you seen in the sky? Many sentient beings. And what Grandmaster mentioned, the body tree was the Dharma body took me to the sky to see. The Dharma body took me to the sky and then I saw Golden Mother and then I saw a huge Bodhi tree and there are seven brothers of us over there made a vow. Hmm? I'm the second. Huh? And Who's the big brother? And Grandmaster said, And Grandmaster said, because the path is uh, full of hardships, he would come down first. Oh, Grandmaster is the big brother. I am second. Anybody else that saw something? Xiao Guang. Give the microphone to him. So, are you, are you one? Oh, the other, the other Dharma brother was one of the seven brothers under the Bodhi tree. Where are you sitting? Okay, go back to your seat. Uh, homage to Grandmaster. Grandmaster just said about what's happening in the heavens. I saw all those. I saw Amitabha Buddha, a hundred thousand Dakinis, Guru Padmasambhava, and most importantly, that touched me, grateful to Grandmaster, is the dialogue between Grandmaster and Golden Mother. And I hope that all fellow disciples here would be grateful to our great Grandmaster. Grandmaster told the mother that he loves all of my holy disciples. And the second statement, 
I love them more than I love myself. And third, Golden Mother, uh, place a lot of uh, things in front of Grandmaster. It's like a gift box filled with uh, precious jewels. And Grandmaster said, I, I would like to use all my blessings and merits uh, to support all my disciples. And Grandmaster told Golden Mother, I, I wish each of the disciples that come celebrating my birthday that they can be happy and uh, fulfilled and attain Buddhahood. So that's most important and we're truly grateful to the most supreme and great Grandmaster. That's, that's all. Thank you, Grandmaster. Beijing. Are you from the north? No, I'm from Beijing. Beijing is considered <laughs> not eastern. Oh, is Hebei. 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 Hebei province. So we're from the same hometown. Thank you. Uh, my origin was Huangyang in Hebei province. That's my ancestors. From Fanyang in Hebei to Fanyang in Fujian, and then to Taiwan. You are from Hebei, Beijing in Hebei province. Thank you. Do you know what is huh, Liu Xin? It's like a heavenly officer. When I was uh, performing, oh, my f dear father, when I was uh, enshrining him in the columbarium, he looked like a heavenly officer with beards and everything. So our twin lotus columbarium at the Rainbow Temple is is really supreme because anybody in, in place there uh, would become a god. <laughs> so, so your father has become a heavenly officer and uh, patrolling all under the heaven patrolling all under the heaven. So he could uh, travel under the heavens. So in the ancient time, so that's like a patrol officer of the whole nation. But for him, he's uh, patrolling all under the heaven. But your mother is already in the western uh, Pure Land, Sukhawati. Thank you, Grandmaster. When your father was alive, was he a, a, a public officer? No, it's a doctor. Uh, there, is a, uh, there is an officer in Chinese, it's called a medical officer. The first in the world for to cure a kidney stones. Oh, I mean gallstones, uh, first uh, foremost in the world as a doctor to cure gallstones without operation or surgery. So that's why he's been saving many people. So that's like a, like a, a patrol officer under the heavens. So now he's also becoming the heavenly officer. Thank you. So that's though they are dakas and they are males to give witness. And Lian Xiong Sang Si, Master Lian Xiong. Uh, he's the one leading the lion and dragon dance earlier.
It's like a provincial governor, uh, the one in heaven. <laughs> What have you seen just now? <laughs> Did you see anything in the heavens? I saw many altars. It's, uh, it's uh, altars everywhere, altars that's transparent. Uh, it's like crystals and radiates bright blue light. Lots and lots of altars everywhere. And in front of the altars, there are many Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. And all the goddesses, all the celestial beings, fairies living in the altars. And sometimes they manifest as altars or mandalas, and sometimes they manifest as the prajna light, and inside prajna lights, they are all mandalas. Thank you. So three witnesses already. We can't, I can't always ask the female Dakinis to uh, grab the spotlight. Sometimes I have to let the male daki, Dakas, we don't call them Dakinis. If it's a male, we call them Daka, a Daka or Dakas, to come out and share. And they're all truthful. All that they spoke match what Grandmaster saw. Okay, let's sing a Dakini song. Okay, now Dak. Daka song. Golden Mother is great, truly tremendous. As soon as she discovered me, in the past in Southeast Asia, did people uh, worship Golden Mother? Anybody could worship Golden Mother in the Southeast Asia? Nobody. Just in Taiwan, right? Did she? Just Ma Zhu. Because Golden Mother seek me out now. <laughs> now, uh, people worship Golden Mother in Southeast Asia. Everybody is enshrining Golden Mother nowadays. So therefore, Golden Mother has a very, is very far-sighted. Just, just, she just uh, teaches me one person, and I teaches everybody. And now the whole world knows about Golden Mother. 
When Golden Mother sought me after, sought after me, without Golden Mother, there would not be True Buddha School. Without Golden Mother, there would not be Grandmaster Lu. Without Grandmaster Lu, there would not be True Buddha School. Without True Buddha School, there would not be Lijang temples or chapters or centers and no disciples either. So, Golden Mother is the source. And today, we perform her Homa fire offering ceremony. And who came and attended, including Guru Padmasambhava and all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas in the mandalas, all the deities. And the twelve uh, goddesses of Usan, Lady Yunhua, and all came. So the merriment in the heavens is the same as the merriment here on earth. Don't think that Golden Mother sought me was just that, but and but even Jesus also came. And Jesus is my guru. So frankly speaking, the words of Jesus can be matched in Buddha Dharma. The words spoken by Sakyamuni Buddha and the words spoken by Jesus are not contradiction, contradicting each other. The fruition of Jesus is at least Bodhisattva Hood. Just look at the words spoken by Jesus. In doing good, you don't need to let it known. The good deeds that the right hand does, do not let the left hand know. That means you forget after you're doing it. That's the intrinsic emptiness of the three wheels, which is the three wheel Lijang temple, and not the tricycle, okay, tri chakra. So the intrinsic emptiness of the three wheels, no giver, no recipient receiver and no nothing to give. You need to perform giving in such a way. That's the intrinsic emptiness of the three wills in Buddhism. So Jesus really has loving kindness and compassion toward all indiscriminately. Do you know what his last prayer was? Uh, at the Last Supper with the Twelve Apostles, the prayer that he spoke to God and he knew he was being crucified and he spoke God, please forgive them, those who crucified him, who put him on the cross, because they know not what they are doing. So that's loving kindness and compassion toward all, indiscriminately. He's compassionate toward those who have trespassed him, who have made mistakes, those who crucified him, he still want to save and deliver them. This is 
That's equality. In Buddhism, we say great loving kindness to all those even without affinities. Even when I have not met you, I still try to deliver you using the thousand dharma vessels. So you treat all sentient beings as yourself. You only think for the sake of sentient beings. There's nothing about yourself. You yourself is nothing. So that great loving kindness toward all and compassion toward all equally. Jesus was like that. He's forgiven those who crucified him, and he prayed to God that they did not know what they were doing. Please forgive them. Many in the in the books of Mark, uh, Matthew, Lucas, John, there are many records there that comply with what's spoken in the Vimalakirti Sutra. It's also the Dharma gate of non-dualism. Dualism. There is no discrimination, no distinction. So up till today, Guru Jesus is still my Guru. This is. This is. My spirit. This is also my spirit. So I've said, why will I never sue other people, even when other people sue you? You're wronged. Is there any mistreatment? Is there any def defamation or slanders? Why? Because everything will pass. The defamation and the slander will pass. The mistreatment or being wrong will also pass. You feel hurt. That too will pass. What's the big deal of dropping a few drops of blood? Jesus was crucified, nailed to the cross. Andre or Andrew, how was he crucified? He said he couldn't be the same as Jesus. So. I want to be crucified sideways. Jesus was crucified on a cross, and I cannot be the same as my Guru Jesus. That's Andre or Andrew. So the cross was diagonal. In Taiwanese, it's called Stephen. During the Roman era, Christianity was prohibited for six hundred years. The gospel can only be spread in the cemeteries, so it's considered the ancient. <laughs> Cemetery school, according to the Jin Yong novel. So they could only spread the gospels in the cemeteries. It could not be done publicly. They were suppressed for six hundred years until the Constantine.
was an emperor uh, who believed in Christianity and uh, promoted uh, Christianity again. So Jesus Christ also suffered. During the three years, he spoke lots of Dharma gems of Buddhism, of Buddha Dharma. So many teachings in the Bible are also the gems of the Buddha Dharma. And also Dharma words. It's truly great. So today, today Grandmaster never differentiate uh, different schools or different religions. Back then, when I was studying Buddhism, and they said, hey, Golden Mother belongs to Taoism. You should just let her go aside. And I said, no, she's my source. She's my main deity, my Yidam. When I was in the heavens, I married Yao Ji, who was Lady Yun Hua and the Twelve uh, Divine Fairies. So Golden Mother sought me. So how could I how could I ever say that when I started to study Buddhism, I forget Golden Mother. Golden Mother was the one who sought me, and she's my source of everything. Although I also followed the Sakyamuni Buddha, but actually the Buddha Dharma of the Buddha and the words of Jesus was the same, were the same. When Jesus just returned, the red robe that he wore was the Lama robe. He went to the Himalayas and learned to wear something, this color that we wear now, the Lama robe, in robe in Lama color or white color. We didn't know which guru he followed, but when he returned, he came out, he established Christianity. And when I came out, I established True Buddha School. Golden Mother is truly precious. Wow, 5.16 already? So there's no, so there's no need to speak on the Dharma, but just briefly. Next is the Vimalakiti Sutra. The Bodhisattva Good Abode said, Motion and thought are dualistic. No motion means no thought. No thought means no discrimination. One who thoroughly understands this is entering the Dharma gate of non-duality. So this is talking about movement and stillness. So movement and stillness are two different things, right? One is moving, one is still. Two different things. Thoughts and external appearance are two things. One is inside self and the other one is external. There are two things. Let's simply give an example. I like to use an analogy. Right? When you're chanting Namo Amitabha, Namo Amitabha, you open your eyes and a beautiful lady is walking toward you. Amitabha, so beautiful. 
这小姐怎么那么亮啊 ？How can the lady be so gorgeous? Wow. 很漂亮啊。Gorgeous. 走路啦，那也要睡。So Amitabha, gorgeous. It's not the Amitabha gorgeous. It's the lady. So when your eyes see, your mind moves. That's the thought. But if you can cultivate until when you see your mind does not move, then you have entered the Dharma gate of non-duality. Or wealth, like this, three kilograms of gold. How much is this? One kilo now? It's over seventy thousand, close to eighty thousand. Three kilograms, three twenty-one. So three kilos. 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 Maybe it's a total three hundred thousand dollars. So when you see that, that's no joke. Maybe your heart would move. Will your heart move? No, I'm unmoved. I must, because I cannot carry it, so I'm untouched by it. I have it in heavens. I don't need things on earth. I'm unmoved. Unmove. So when you unmove, you have entered the Dharma gate of non-duality. In my mind, there is no greed whatsoever, no desire for it. And you see a beautiful lady. Beautiful. That's right. But I cultivate spiritually, and in my forties, I have attained fruition from my non-leaking practice. And in the future, I will be like Vimala Kirti. I can visit the brothel. It's the prostitutes. I can go to the dance clubs. Is the reference from the dance hall here? Give him the microphone. Were you in the music band? Music band in the Yuan Shui Dance Club? Yes. At that time, he was a musician in the band. In the band, and you played the bass. And you saw Grandmaster dance. Did, did Grandmaster ever dance with a dance girl, a skin to skin? No. Grandmaster is always very clean. Hmm? It's so to me. It's as if it's a pure land. Also, you have a very high realization for mundane beings. That's a place of a huge a dye pot. <laughs> 
But for Grandmaster, that's a pure land. That is true. At that time, I knew Xiao Hui, Xiu Xiu, Mimi. Do you know? <laughs> I don't. I forgot. I don't usually mingle with them. But those followed me and took refuge. So I knew Xiao Hui from the dance club. Mimi. Mimi. Xiu Xiu, uh, who's, uh, we, we know each other quite well. And then they took refuge in me. And you followed me to become a monk, and your younger sister too, to become a nun. Okay, thank you. So I can go anywhere. It depends on your heart mind whether it moves or not. If your heart mind moves, then you lost. Let me tell you one thing. It's an impossible task, impossible mission. If you have mastered uh, the non-leaking leakage of the light drops and you abide in such a state in performing the dual body practice, the heart is with the jidam. Can it be done? Yes. In performing dual body practice, you can also chant the sutra, I can chant the sutra during such a union. But that thing relies on desire in order to make love. But if you're mindful of the deity and not relying on your desire, can you do it? Mm. We'll say this when you're young and young and old are different. Hmm? When you're young, you're hard and waiting. When you're old, you're waiting to be hard. <laughs> Without desire, how can you do it? It relies on your mastery of your qi practice. If you practice qi channels and light drops and in union with the jidam, but if you can't do it, then please don't just do it because you will fall into the avici hell. That's talking about wealth, about sensual ple pleasures. It's the same. You heart mind should be unmoved in order to be considered success. But if the heart-mind moves, then you cannot speak this statement that motion and thought are dualistic. No motion means no thought. No thought means no discrimination. You cannot reach the state of no thought when you have desire. And since you have a thought, then you need to cultivate until you are like Bodhisattva, good abode. Oh. What does it mean? Oh. Su. Su means sun, moon, and stars. 
<laughs> In Tantric Buddhism, we practice the sun, that sunlight radiance, and you practice the moon, moonlight radiance, and you practice the stars, a starlight radiance. So if you merge into the sunlight, moonlight, and starlight, that's called the Samaya of the Three Lights. So that's the so you will not uh, be affected uh, by wealth and you have no greed, anger, and desire. You will not be deluded in, in sensual pleasures. So you have no more greed, anger, or delusion. The greed, anger, and delusion have become Buddha Dharma. So although you are performing sex, but you're not moved or affected by it. And lastly, uh, you will not be moved by fame. You are unmoved by the eight blowing winds, eight different things that can move or touch your heart-mind. So that means you're unmoved. Only at such time, any slanders or defamation would not affect you. How is my reputation? Nothing, no effect at all. Uh, whether having many disciples, it's, there's no effect on me, and not even half a disciple, there's no effect on me. It's fine whether you come or go. My heart, mind never moves. So, this is what the Bodhisattva good abode said. Motion and thought are dualistic. No motion means no thought. No thought means no discrimination. One who thoroughly understands this is entering the Dharma gate of non-duality. So, in any circumstance, your heart-mind is always in samadhi is always in samadhi. That's the non-dualistic dharma gate. How come you can enter the dharma gate of non-duality? Because you know there is no you that you are non-existent. Sentient beings are also non-existent. The Vajra Sutra, Grand Master has expounded, Grand Master has expounded on the Vajra Sutra. There is no I, no you, no sentient beings, no longevity, no time. Sentient beings mean spatial dimension, no I. Self does not exist. No phenomena of self, no phenomena of others, no phenomena of sentient beings, no phenomena of longevity, lifespan. When this four non phenomena, with this four non phenomena, how can your heart mind move? That ultimately it's all emptiness. Now you understand? So the good the Buddha Bodhisattva said, motion and thought are dualistic. No motion means no thought. No thought means no discrimination. One who thoroughly understands this is entering the Dharma gate of non-duality. I haven't told any jokes. <laughs> A surgeon told the patient, I have told you that you can only drink two bottles of beer every day. 
And the patient said, I only drank four bottles. But I told you, just two bottles. And the patient said, yeah. Yeah, but the internist also told me to drink two bottles. So he drank four bottles. <laughs> so, uh, uh, the surgeon said two, the internist said two, so together becomes four. Is this a joke? Okay, it's a good joke. In the past, there was a man who accidentally went into a cannibal tribe, and the chief wanted to kill him. But that's not so much fun, so he, he uh, tried to use a game. A find a tiger that's on a leash, on a rope, and the, the other end of the rope is tied to a tree. And under the rope, they place a candle that's lit. And when the candle burns the rope, the tiger would be unleashed, and then the tiger would eat the, the person. But that person, uh, Aung San, got really smart and sang a song, and then he was spared. His life was spared. Do you know what song he just sang? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay, and then you blow the candle. As soon as the tiger blew the candle, then he's still on the rope <laughs> and will not be able to eat him. Several fi friends uh, opened a school and a said, I'll teach English, B said, I'll teach math, C said, I'll teach uh, language. And D said, Xiaomi said, I don't know anything, what should I do? And then the rest said, then you should be the principal. <laughs> so as the head, they don't know anything. The principal, I don't know anything either. Oh, money, bear me home.